Hey y'all! Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, I am Patrice. I'm glad that you are here with us today. Today I am going to be unboxing this Alibaba order that I've been waiting for since the beginning of March. It took over two months for me to get my items. However, they arrived and I am very happy now. I ordered these from Sichuan and as y'all know if you've seen any of my other unboxing videos they are one of my preferred vendors I order from them often I order from other vendors who sell tumblers as well however I do order a lot from Sichuan so I'm going to take you all through the process of me unboxing this and what the order looked like when I placed it with Sichuan how much I paid for it and I am just going to let y'all know all my business all right so if you have ordered from Sichuan in the past I I'm not sure how our relationship is going to go moving forward I'm usually very very pleased with the items that I receive however I do know that some of you who might have ordered from them in the past or more so recently especially after their new year you might have received some of your tumblers that when you tried to sub them the paper started sticking to the tumblers and that's not good and that is wasting money so i did speak with uh the one of the reps at sichuan and they said to remedy that there were some bad or bad batch of tumblers that went out and to remedy that the sublimation coating um, was not fully cured onto the tumbler and if you bake those tumblers for 15 minutes prior to subbing onto them you should not have that problem I know <laughs> it, but that's a remedy all right so I will keep my opinion about that to myself and I am about to show y'all everything that I ordered as usual it takes so long I don't really remember what I ordered so I am going to have to check my records and make sure that I have everything but I'm gonna show you all what I paid let's get started uh -oh. all right so we're gonna open this first box and see what type of tumblers we have and then I'll just set them up and once we start going over like what I actually paid for these tumblers then we will um have a closer look but I think I just ordered some straight tumblers I might have ordered sippy cup tumblers I think that's for the most part that's what I ordered now I was waiting two months for this order however I had vendors who did get me my items in within 30 days and I want to show you a few things that I did order from them and those prices were very very good as well and I will share with you in the description below I'll have a link to Sichuan but I will also have a link to the other two vendors that I tried out one vendor I'd used in the past and they they always deliver I mean I'm getting Glad, um, the color changing mugs and glass items shipping all the way from China and not one is broken so I have to give them a shout out and you got let you guys know who that is and also I tried out a new tumbler vendor for some water bottle tumblers and I just want I haven't subbed on them yet I've had them for a while but I haven't subbed I've, other people have all right so I ordered I think I ordered about a hundred or maybe I ordered 50 or 90 I'm not sure but I ordered oh, sorry guys this light is just uh -uh. this light is just too much I right, guess so I ordered these tumblers and they're the water bottle tumblers and you can kind of like a flip top you push it and then it's supposed to pop open or something to that effect oh maybe I don't know oh it does pop open so 
this tumbler um i don't remember how much it was but i will definitely when we start looking at the pricing for the tumblers that i have now we will look at those pricing all right and so next i have these beer mugs they're like frosted beer mugs for sublimation and this is the vendor where i usually get my color changing mugs from also and not one arrived broken these are glass but these are for sublimation they also have the ones that have different colors at the bottom and i i just ordered some of those like a different um not the ones i just ordered some of those all right y'all so we are going to unbox our first package and for those of you who don't know i order sublimation blanks from alibaba i have an etsy shop where i sell these sublimation blanks and i also order other items or blanks for like my regular cricket crafts that i may i may make okay and so i usually do c freight shipping you can either do express or c freight express is a lot more money but you do get it within five to nine days i've gotten things super super quick but I do like to do sea freight shipping. It is cheaper than Express and I don't mind waiting. So typically you're waiting about 30 days for your items. However, lately it's been a little bit longer. So for some of my suppliers, I've gotten things within 30 days. Sichuan, this is the first time that it took a longer time. Things get held up in customs. Also, you have to, when you're ordering, you have to pay attention to what their processing time is. So in your contract, before you pay, look and see. They will have, oh, it's going to take us seven days to get this order ready. Or some of them, it's going to take us 15 days to get this order ready. So you want to make sure that you identify that inside of the contract before you pay. Because if it's something that you don't want to wait that long, it's going to take them 15 days to ship. And then it's going to take another 20 to 30 days for you to receive the items. So that's something you do want to take into consideration. However, I, as most of you know who have been seeing some of these videos, you know that I'm an advocate for sea freight shipping, All right? So these are, I think these are the 12 ounce tumblers. I ordered some 12 ounce tumblers and This is just our regular standard looking tumblers with the same type of lid. Of course, it's a little bit smaller. The circumference is a lot smaller, seems like to me, than the 20 or the 30. Maybe not, but it looks like it to me. But this is smaller. This is a 12 ounce. I'm not sure exactly how many of these I ordered, um, but based on the top of this box, it has to be at least 50 of these that I ordered. And all of the tumblers come with their own box from Sichuan. And yeah, I think if, if they should come with straws, I think. Let me see if there's straws at the bottom. Yeah, there are. That means I have to take more of them out to show you the straws. But these came with plastic straws, okay? They are at the bottom. If you want the metal straws, you just need to ask them for an upgrade of the straws. There will probably be a, a small fee added to the, the metal straw, okay? I'm pretty fine with the um, plastic straws. I do have metal straws in case one of my clients want metal straws instead of plastic, but I offer the straws with the, the tumblers. All right, let's see our next box. I'm going to put this here, just start stacking this stuff up. All right, so we are going to look at this box. I'm trying to see where the where I should cut because sometimes you don't really want to just slice into your, your boxes because they pack these up to the top. And you don't want to cut into like a box that you, you're going to sell or send to someone. So... That's, that's try to be careful. Okay, so this looks like these may be the sippy cups. I don't even remember how much I ordered of the sippy cups, but these looks like these these are the straight sippy cups. 
and yes they are these are the straight sippy cups i think this is a 12 ounce sippy cup i'm not sure but this is the straight sippy cup all right we are going to keep going i'm going to leave this one out and that way this kind of helps me um after i'm done with this i am definitely going to um put everything in my inventory count everything make sure everything has arrived but y'all how about was it ups this is UPS. how about ups delivered one of the boxes to the wrong house like maybe three houses down but this is before the other boxes even came so they delivered the box to the wrong house and the woman whose house they delivered it to she actually brought i've never met her before she actually brought the item the whole big box over to me and she was like oh you know are you patrice or whatever and i was like yeah she was like i think i have a box for you in my trunk and i was like you do and she was like yeah i think they, they delivered it to the wrong house y'all really and so sure enough it was my box and she had it for me of course, y'all know I was super thankful. I'm, I think I'm going to surprise her and make her a tumbler and just take it down there to her house because I was already waiting two months. Then UPS got the wrong house. And I'm just like, UPS, I need you. Don't be like USPS. All right, so here's our next package. And this box is kind of open. I don't know what happened. They did they did not pack it with all that um, orange tape, but it's okay. This looks like this may be the 20 ounce tumblers that I got. And these are the 20 ounce tumblers. Of course, y'all know based off of what has happened to a few people who received some tumblers from Sichuan, I definitely want to test all of these out. So... The items that I'm taking out to show y'all, I am going to test each one of those out to make sure that that coating is, is good. I don't want anybody experiencing any um, paper sticking to their tumblers because nobody has time for that. I think I might have ordered a hundred of these. All right, so let's check out this package and let's see what we have in here. Um... Yeah, it's always fun getting packages, especially these types of packages. I love, love, love getting packages from Alibaba. And I guess showing y'all, I was going to open it. I was like, let me ask them if they want to see an unboxing video. So I'll definitely keep doing unboxings as much as possible. But I do get stuff, y'all, that I don't show um, in other blinks besides tumblers that I get. But this is the 20 ounce also. So these two boxes are the 20 ounce. So next, I think, in the other box is going to be the... 30 ounce tumblers and we will definitely check into that if you want to know exactly like how to order from alibaba i have a video um and i'll try to link it so that you guys can see i do have like the steps that you can go through to kind of reduce some of the anxiety from ordering from alibaba all right guys and see these are the plastic straws so each package or each carton has straws for the tumblers and I think I have way too many but these aren't the 20 these are the 30 ounce these are the 20 ounce more 20 ounce where's my 30 ounce y'all remember that last time they got my order wrong I was not pleased all right y'all so I've been through the boxes to see what I got I also went online to check and see if I ordered the 30 ounce and it's very odd, but I did not order the 30 ounce. So those are not missing, but I did order glitter tumblers and I don't see them. 
they usually ship everything together so like tumblers are usually always together i'm going to have to look through those so i don't want to prolong this video so i'm going to take you guys over to the computer so that you can see exactly what i spent how many tumblers i ordered and that sort of thing well let's go okay so now we are in my order page on alibaba.com and i'm going to show you all what I purchased, how much I spent, how much shipping was, and that sort of thing. If you want to see exactly how to order from Alibaba, I have a video um, listing or at least pretty much in detail how to order, what to look for, and that sort of thing. I will be updating that video with a little more information in the very near future, but for the purpose of today's tutorial, we are only looking at my orders. Also, I do want to note earlier I said about looking at um, when you're shipping, look for the sea freight shipping. That's my preferred choice. However, as of May 2021, sea freight shipping has gone up a little bit more, but it's still worth it for me to order from Alibaba because my cost per item is still lower than if I were to purchase from a local vendor or a vendor within the United States or any place else. So. I will continue to order from them in bulk. This order, I place all of the orders I'm going to show you were from March for some of my March orders. And one of them I got, um, these two that's on the screen here, I got those last month sometime in like April. I got those within 30 days, but the bigger of the, the orders, I, it took maybe about, about nine or 10 weeks for me to get that order. So, but nonetheless, I ordered these glassware mugs and I usually use this supplier for uh, my other mugs that I'm using, like coffee mugs and the color changing mugs. And I never have any issue with them. And I will have the links for all of the vendors that I use and that I'm talking about today in the description box. So for these glass mugs, the cost was or is a dollar thirty five um per mug, and this is at twenty four mugs and I ended up paying about sixty five dollars for sea freight shipping now the mugs are about thirty two dollars, and with that um sixty five dollars my total was ninety seven forty for twenty four of these sublimation glass beer mugs. And that put my cost at about $4.59. Now, usually I don't like to spend more than $4 on any of the mugs or tumblers. However, I only ordered 24 of these mugs. And these are glass mugs. They're very, very heavy. So there's extra padding that must be used in order for us to get these in one piece. So I was pretty, I was very good. I was okay with the pricing for these mugs. And my plan is or has been to sell these mugs with designs. I usually like to sell these as blanks, but I will be designing these and selling them around Father's Day. So I am probably going to make five or six times what I actually paid. Not five. Yeah, about five times what I made, um, what I paid for these particular mugs. Okay. So that's how I, I look at it. I don't necessarily look at the fact that, oh, well, I'm spending $4 for a mug. I'm looking at, okay, well, what is my profit going to be? Is it reasonable? And I go from there. Okay, so the next thing I want to show you guys or the next item that I want to show you guys were those water bottles. And those water bottles were a dollar and 80 cents per water bottle. And I got 60 of the water bottles. Okay, and I paid about $108 for these water bottles, and the shipping was $85, which made my total $193. And for these water bottles, I only paid $3.22 per water bottle. So for me, that is a great price um, for these water bottles, whether I'm going to sell these as blanks in my Etsy shop 
or if I am going to sell these as personalized, customized items. Okay, so on this this supplier, I got these items really, really quickly, no problems. It was very, very seamless, and yeah. So this came with tracking details. This supplier, you will you will get your tracking in your messages. He usually sends you the tracking in your messages, not necessarily uploaded onto the Alibaba site. But I've never had any issues with with them, and they have tons of items. All right, guys. So for the larger of the the items or the items that you guys saw, um, there were four items. I ended up going through every last box of those tumblers and I found the glitter holographic tumblers that were missing or that they weren't missing that I did not see. And so they are there. I do have them. And this particular order was for 298 tumblers. So I'm going to give you a price breakdown of each of the tumblers, what I paid for those tumblers. Okay, so, and this price includes the shipping. So I usually like to have everything grouped together and then I'll know exactly what I spent per tumbler and what I spent for it to get here. So for the plain white sublimation tumblers, I purchased 150 of them and my cost was $3.59 per tumbler. For the straight glitter holographic tumblers, I got a 20 ounce. I only purchased 50 of those and my price was $4.54 per tumbler. Now those tumblers usually cost more than the plain tumblers. However, if I would have increased my quantity, my unit price would have decreased. Next, the sippy cup tumblers. This is the 12 ounce straight sippy cup. It's a straight skinny sippy cup tumbler. I purchased 48 of those and my unit price was $4.08 for each of those tumblers. And if you guys order or have been ordering or even ordering um, on Etsy or any place like that, the sippy cup tumblers are usually more than the regular tumblers. And also I purchased the 15 ounce straight skinny tumbler and I purchased 50 of those and the unit price was $3.25 for each of those tumblers. Now this price included the sea freight shipping. Again, I don't know if I've, I've probably told you guys too many times, but it took a long time for me to get these items. And so with the price $1,123.84, I usually divide what I paid in full, like the total amount that I paid. I usually divide that by the amount of tumblers that I purchased. And then I usually will use that as my per item fee, how much did I pay per item. And so once I divide that by the $2.98, I've paid about $3.77 per item to get those items here. All right, y'all. So that's it for this particular unboxing. I just wanted to give you all a close up of the different tumblers and cups that I purchased. This is the frosted beer mug that I purchased. And this is very good quality. It is glass. And this was the sublimation water bottle. Okay, so I have not subbed onto these and I've had them for a while, but I am going to give this a shot and sub and let y'all see how it turns out. Now for the order that I received this past week, I received the 20 ounce skinny straight tumblers and these are plain white. There is no shot, no glitter, but this is shiny. Now these tumblers also come with a matte finish. So when you're ordering your tumblers, you want to make sure you specify whether you want shiny or matte. Also, depending on the vendor that you purchase these from, and even sometimes from the same vendor, you want to always measure your tumblers when they come in. So you want to measure the length and you also want to measure the width of this tumbler because sometimes they, they do change and each vendor is not making the same size tumbler. This one is that tumbler that I was looking for and I couldn't find it. But this is, I don't know if you guys can kind of tell, but it's glitter, holographic-ish type of tumbler and I am going to sub on all of these 
just to test them out. Anytime I get a new shipment in from my vendors, I do test one of the tumblers out just to make sure the quality is good and everything is as it should be. I know earlier when I was unboxing, I said this was a 12 ounce tumbler, but this is actually a 15 ounce tumbler. Okay, so this is a 15 ounce tumbler. And as you all know, the tops come um, with a little opening. And each of these tumblers, at least these three, they come with straws. Okay, and this is the straight sippy cup tumbler. And that's it for the unboxing for today. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I will continue to post unboxing videos with any tips or any suggestions that I may have. But you do want to make sure you are very careful when you are ordering from the site. You want to make sure that you're not ordering from a new vendor. You want to make sure that they have history and they have the certain badges that show that they are reliable and trustworthy. So if you want more information about that, make sure to check out my other unboxing video that also includes a how-to order from Alibaba part. That's it. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like it. Also, make sure that you hit that subscribe button if you are not a subscriber. In addition, head over to Facebook and join our Craftable Things Facebook group. We would love to have you there. But that's it for today, y'all. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time.